Hello and welcome to 2670 Camino, Kettering, Ohio. I'm standing out in front of this home right now. First thing, the location. This Camino here is just kind of like a, the street is like the letter U. It just loops up and loops around. So this is not an access street. You're not on this street unless you live on this street. So very quiet, very quaint, and you're not coming here unless you live here or if you're visiting somebody here. Big two-car garage with build-ins, front porch, and this is a full brick home. On the back, we have a Florida room, a massive storage shed, good-sized yard, and it's really good shape on the inside, too. Before we go check out the inside, I'm going to walk you around the back and show you the backyard. Here's here just walked around to the side of the house. Here we can see our Florida room here, and these are almost all of these panels are doors. We have doors here, doors over there, doors over there, and doors over there. But multiple outside entertaining spaces as well. This little paper patio kind of wraps around. Got some built-in flower boxes. Good size backyard. And again, county line is just over there. So we're just minutes from the green. And look at this shed. You may not be able to tell, but this is like twice the length of a normal shed. I mean, you literally could fit a car in that shed if the doors were wide enough. And then over here, we have another entertaining area. We have a deck over here. And I can't remember if I mentioned this on the front. This is a full brick home. If you've ever priced building a house, it is considerably more expensive to do a full brick home. A lot of the new construction homes that you see now, they're just brick faces and they put siding on the side because the cost is so high. So that's the outside. Next, I'm excited to show you the inside. All right, so here I just came through the front door and this is an updated door right here. Immediately to our left, we have a coat closet. I typically don't show the closets, but there's a lot of buildings. There's a hat rack up top there on both sides, plus the shelf and the hangers, and a lot of these closets are all custom as well. Carpet in here is brand new. Windows are updated. It's a good size living room here. Going this way takes us to the kitchen. To the left takes us to the bedrooms. We're gonna go this way. This is just a little decorative thing. This is the fridge here, which does stay. Dishwasher, wall oven, cooktop, and range hood all stay as well. Kitchen sink overlooks the backyard, which we've already seen on there. Kitchen was refaced, so it is an updated kitchen. Kind of have a look through right here, as you can see. Could do like a little Benihana chef right here. Dining room. And then our back door here that takes us out to the Florida room with multiple doors throughout there, so great space there. This takes us out to our two-car garage, which is oversized and has plenty of built-ins as well. Family room and or den here. This has a gas fireplace behind the TV there. Overhead light, and you see up here, it looks like we got a sun tube up here as well. So a nice space here. Then heading over, let's check out the bedrooms. You have tons of closet space here with this home, plenty of storage. So we have, I'm gonna call it linen closet number one. And I think I call this bedroom number three. This is on the front middle of the home. Double sliding closet on this one over here to the left. We do have a ceiling fan in here. Utility area, the washer and dryer do stay. Tons of built-in shelves here as well. We'll call this linen closet number two. A bunch of shelves in here. Then our first full bathroom, we have two full bathrooms on this home. Updated flooring in here, and the tile and everything in here is in fantastic shape. And we'll call this linen closet number three. And if you look, these are probably 12 to 16 inch boards a piece, and there's two of them, so super duper deep. And they even have a little shelf up top there for access, so storage galore in here. We got storage in the garage and then tons of closet space in here as well. This is our mechanical room. This is where our high efficiency furnace is, as well as our water heater. This is bedroom number two. This is on the front left of the home, if you're looking at it from the street. And we have uh, sliding mirrored, mirrored doors. I always have trouble saying that word. And then this will be the owner suite, just because it does have an adjoining bathroom. 
And this one has uh, sliding mirrored doors as well. But here's where I'm talking about with you know, custom shoe racks and space over there. So very, very good use of space. And again, we have a full bathroom here as well. Pedestal sink, little ledge above the toilet, and this is a walk-in shower, and this is newer, the shower is here. This is even, you know, little secret storage space. Look how much space is there. We'll call it this linen closet number, I don't even know what we're on, four or five. Tons of space in here. So we're located just minutes from the green, just right up the street. If you had a good throwing arm, you could throw a rock to Beaver Creek from where we're at. County Line Road is not too far away from here. So we're minutes from State Route 35, minutes from Interstate 675. Ranch home, oversized two-car garage, nothing to do but move in. We have a Florida room, great location, great yard. This home's gonna sell fast. So if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. And these are double-sided cabinets too, by the way. Feel free to give me a call or give your realtor a call. I'm sure they'd be happy to show you this fine home. And we look forward to talking to you. Thanks for watching.